Since about the start of the Industrial Revolution, we've seen CO2 levels in the atmosphere increase by about 30%. Human activity is causing a tipping of the scales, this very fine, delicate balance that we have and what we call the carbon cycle here. The key motivation for the OCO3 experiment is to continue this record of carbon dioxide. OCO2 was built the last two years, we've had it up there for four years, but there's always a risk it's not gonna survive. So OCO3 goes on the space station in the spring. We'd like to have measurements that cover a long duration, and OCO3 is going to help add to that record. OCO3 is going to specifically produce a data set of carbon dioxide measurements. We'd like to be able to keep an eye on this atmospheric CO2. Where did it come from? Where is it going? And how is it related to other global processes? When plants are doing photosynthesis, they emit a little bit of light, and we can sense that light in our measurements. So we have a measure of plant photosynthesis activity in combination with the carbon dioxide. Plants use CO2 for growing. They absorb it into the leaves. They convert CO2 and water into sugar that they use to store the energy to grow later. The combination of these measurements tell us about the relationship between this net uptake of CO2 over time and how that is being governed by photosynthesis. OCO2 measures every day the same time of day. With OCO3 on the space station, we're gonna sample from sunlight to sundown. And so now we can learn about carbon cycle through different parts of the day. And that's really important because plants respond to sun, so we need to see them behaving across the day. Our team designed and built an agile mechanical actuator that allows OCO3 to look at dozens of areas on the globe each day. And each of these areas is about 50 miles by 50 miles in size. So that allows us to actually focus in on specific areas, maybe urban areas, as well as agricultural regions. This capability of OCO3 to map out some of those areas and start to see some change over time, that really is how we are going to advance our understanding and our modeling for the future and understanding of climate.